I guess we're going to slow it down today. But we're going to keep that power involved. For today's circuit, we're going to focus on some eccentric negative kettlebell movements. And at the bottom of each rep, we're going to explode up. So a couple of exercises, a couple of rounds. Let's get to it. All right, so the four movements we're working with today is number one, a single arm snatch to overhead, and then as slow as possible, bring that down to a rack position, and then down slowly into a squat. At the end, you're gonna uncurl the bell, doing a reverse bicep curl all the way down to the bottom. Then, grab it with your next arm, snatch, same movement. So we're gonna aim for four reps there, Next, we're moving into a little ballistic row complex where you're going to start in a single arm, explosive row, and then as slow as possible, fight gravity and bring that bell to the middle. Once you hit the middle, you do an explosive switch, ballistic switch, do one explosive row with the other hand and then slowly back down. So we're gonna aim to get six to 10 reps on that. Do what you feel. Next, we're going into a little plyo complex. We're really gonna make the legs feel it. So start with the bell in between your legs, have two hands, and get a nice plyometric explosive jump into the air. Land strong and as slow as possible. Resist bringing that weight down all the way to the bottom. Once you hit the bottom, you're gonna single arm it. Do the same thing, but with a single arm. Bring it all the way down slow, and then double arm it again and then go to the other hand. We're gonna wanna hit around six reps. Lastly, we're gonna close it out with a little goblet action. This is going to be, again, very slow and intuitive goblet squat. Down, all the way down into that squat position, feel it, and then you're gonna load up into a goblet press. All the way up, extend fully, both arms on the bell, and then from there, you're going to work the shoulders, slowly bring it down to eye level, and then back down to your squat. Let's hit around six reps here too. And that's it. So there you have it. It's gonna give your body another look. You're gonna be working those negatives and then that explosion at the bottom or top of the rep. Remember, deep controlled breaths, mind in the muscle. If you wanna add a little extra to it, breathe through the nose, changes the game completely. So four exercises, aim for three to six rounds, whatever you're feeling, whatever your level is. Pick your kettlebell weight wisely. Don't hesitate to move up or move down if, if the weight's too challenging or not challenging enough. This one's gonna leave you feeling it the next day. Got round two.